Okay, let's go ahead and talk about another analysis technique that we can do, uh, and it is specifically with respect to the chi-squared distribution. And it also is, looks like that, chi-squared. Okay, so when we are thinking about doing our chi-squared test, this is when we are doing categorical by categorical analysis. Okay, so this is like a categorical by categorical, and we're really asking like two different questions when, we, when we're thinking about using our chi-squared. We either want to do A, a goodness of fit, or B, we can do what's called the test for independence. Okay, so we've got basically two different ideas going on here um, that we can use this chi-squared distribution to help us out with. First of all, goodness of fit. What does the goodness of fit let us do? Well, it lets us compare, compare um, our expected probabilities with observed. So this could help us like understand, do we have a loaded dice? So we would expect that when we roll our dice that we would have that each of our outcomes, we could count how often it happens. So we could see what's the proportion of the time that we get a one, what's the proportion of the time that we get a two, et cetera, et cetera. And we would hope that each of those proportions would be equally likely. Okay, and then we could compare what we actually got. So if all of a sudden we see that sixes are rolling um, way more likely than some of our other numbers, then our goodness of fit could help us understand like, are these expected probabilities, do they actually match up with our observed probabilities? All right, so that's one way that we can use our chi-squared is with this goodness of fit. The second method that we can use is test for independence. So our test for independence means that we gather lots of data. So like maybe we gather your gender and we gather um, oh, your major. And we want to see, it's like, uh, does your gender um, the, is that is it related to what your major is? So like if you are male, are you more likely to be in the dance program or are you more likely to be in the engineering program? We could use the test for independence to see are the are our um, are two different categories related to one another. So we could see, let me write that down. Are our categories? related or independent. Okay, so these are, are the, the two kind of tests that we're going to be focused on in our chi-squared uh, distribution section. Mostly it's like this categorical by categorical. Uh, goodness of fit lets us see, it's like are our categories what we think that they actually should be? Uh, and the goodness of fit ones that, that we do, we're actually only going to be able to consider one category at a time in our commander. Um, but our test for independence, we are going to be able to take two categorical pieces of data and see if they are related, just like we were able to do uh, in regression analysis to see if our two numerical pieces of data were related to one another.